What's going on guys, Pros and Talk here, back in with my Wrestlemania 4 review and um, this Wrestlemania, I would say it was an, you know, it was an okay Wrestlemania um, mostly the Wrestlemania 4 was mainly about the uh, tournament for the WWE Championship or WWF Championship should I say so here are the brackets, I'm gonna, because they basically just, they just go over like the quarterfinals and the final and stuff like that so anyway um, let's go up here uh, we had uh, in the battle royal we had bad news brown he defeated bret hart to win the battle royal and then we had teddy biasi versus jim duggan teddy biasi got the win um don morocco he defeated um uh, dino bravo and then greg valentine he got the win over ricky steamboat randy savage he defeated butch reed uh one man gang defeated bam bam bigelow uh, Jake the Snake and um, Rick Rude, their time, they ran out of time so they didn't even do it, they had time on it. Um, Ultimate Warrior defeated Hercules, Andre and Hogan was the no squat double count out, that was in the quarterfinals. Um, and then the ones I mentioned were in the first round. The other quarterfinal was Ted DiBiase, he defeated Don Morocco and then it was Savage versus um, Greg Valentine, they had a good match. Um, Savage gets the win and he goes to the um, final. Then we have um, the IC title match, the only the only two matches that wasn't an actual, um, the only three matches that wasn't actually a tournament match. Uh, we have Bruce the Barbary Kid versus the champion Honky Top Man. Um, you know, it was a short match. The, the, the Bruce the Barbary Kid win by DQ because the Honky Top Man, um, he got himself to qualified because Jimmy Hart attacked the ref. Um, then we have the Islanders, which is Hanu and Tama versus the, the Bulldogs um, and Coco Beware. Oh, and Bobby Dino was in the match too. Um, that was a quick match because they had to rush it because they had their tournament matches too. Um, then we had the semi finals, it's Macho Man versus One Man Gang. Macho Man wins. And then we go to Demolition versus the Strike Force, Britt Martell and Tito Santana for the tag titles. It, it was a, yeah, I thought it was one of the best matches of the night. Um, it was a good match. Then we had the main event. It was the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. Versus Teddy Biasi for the vacant WWF Championship. Um, I thought that Teddy Biasi and Macho Man had a really good match here. Um, really good chemistry. The thing I would have done though is I, I would have really had, I really wanted to see Teddy Biasi at least in WWF win the WWE Championship or WWF Championship. Because he was such a great character back in the day, like, he was such a great heel, like, especially when he would have those vignettes of him kicking the baseball, or him kicking the, or having fans kiss his foot, or, you know, him offering people money and stuff, and, you know, bragging about his wealth and stuff, like, I really enjoyed the Ted Biasi character, and to, for him to not have a world title, like, this was the perfect time to put a world title on him. And like I think this was around the time that, that he was gonna buy the WWF championship, so this was the same time he was gonna buy the championship, and then he entered himself in the tournament. So yeah, um, overall it was, it was a good match, and I gotta say that WrestleMania in general, I know that it's a review show, but WrestleMania in general was actually a good show. Um, you had Donald Trump there, so he was there. Um, overall it was a good show, um, basically it was surrounded by this vacant WWE Championship, that was the main uh, story behind it, obviously, and uh, you had, I feel like a tag match, and the Intercontinental Championship, but overall, I thought it was a, it was a good, it was an okay, it was a good show, so, it was an okay show, so, yeah, what do you guys think about this Wrestlemania uh, 4 review, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll check you guys later, peace.